All right, YouTube. This is Rashard 79. First shoe review ever. You know, I was cleaning some shoes. A couple little shoes, as you can see. I mean, you see some, some Jordans or whatever back there. But you know what I'm saying? It was like, hey, let me go ahead and do a review since everybody else is doing it. Let me go ahead and do one. Now, this ain't your typical, you know what I'm saying, review with, you know, animation going on and point up here and then graphics coming up. You ain't going to get none of that. We, we got a low budget. Yeah. yeah, you never know what you might get out of one of my sneaker reviews. I mean, it's not going to be all the way, you know what I'm saying, crisp and all sneaker. Like, I mean, one time I might be doing one. You might see ass and titties walk across the screen or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You never know. You can see a little bit of anything. You might see people arguing. I might have to go use the bathroom. And I'm not going to edit it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to take the camera in there. But you know what I'm saying? You might hear me farting or something. You never know. I mean, it's, it's all uncut. It's all, it's all uncut. So you just got to you just gotta stay tuned. You got to stay tuned. Sex sells. So I'm going to try to bring sex in with this sneaker review. Ain't nobody never did that. So I'm going to try to do that. Sex sells. So right now I'm recording on my flip phone. Flip iPhone. You know what I'm saying? I call it iPhone. It's a flip phone though. But you know what I'm saying? I still call it iPhone. But uh, we're going to do a review on the, these shoes. Not those. These right here that's behind this box. Now, like I said, it's a, it's a little ghetto. You know what I'm saying? Review. Uh, every review I do is going to be in the disclosed location so I cannot give you my location where I'm at right now because it's disclosed and a lot of people want to figure out where these shoes are at I'm not going to give you any information but I will tell you this I mean you might see a mice running across here or anything like that we do have a little mice problem you might see a rat you know what I'm saying that's a grown up mice so mother might run across here but hey you can't blame them they want to get some shine too but uh, what we're going to do is, this box right here, this is, it's an old box, you know what I'm saying? This is, shoe came out in 2004, it's 2012, but, you know, with the budget we have, we couldn't do it in 2004, so we had to wait eight years later and do it now. So what you have here is the, uh, me, the Nike Shocks, the Nike Shocks Jump Off, came out in 2004. Uh, the color, if, pardon my flip phone, the color is, okay, the color is not going to come in. Now, I'm just giving you my colors. My colors is white, yellow, and blue. That's not the color that's on here, but I'm just telling you. That's what I call it. It's ghetto, so, hey, white, yellow, and blue. I mean, they got on here white, varsity maze, midnight navy, BLA. And M A I S dash navy. That's a lot of colors, but basically it's white, yellow, and blue. So behind this box, what you have here is being that I'm from Indiana, I'm from Indianapolis, you have these right here. Yes, the Jermaine O'Neal PE Nike Shocks Jump Off. Put that box over there. Now, these have been worn probably twice, you know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of y'all shoe reviews, y'all haven't even worn the shoes or whatever, but this is a new trend, so these have been worn. Been worn twice. You know, as you see, you see the, the Pacer color. This is when he hooped for the Pacers, so this is not Boston. This is not Portland or whatever other team that he hooped for. But uh, as you can see, there's the number seven right there. That was his number when he played for us. He had some good years with us. Jermaine had some great years with us. And then uh, he became an all-star with us. Then you got the J-O over here. Stands for Jermaine O'Neal for people that don't know. I mean, some people might think, hey, who's Joe? Jermaine O'Neal. That's what it stands for. Yeah, I mean, this is a nice little shoe. I mean, you got the little shocks, you know, the boings. You know what I'm saying? I say boings. I think that's what they was on the commercial. But uh, the reason why I only wore them twice is because this shoe right over here, this shoe is not exactly the same as you can look as a spinner it on the round. You see the Jermaine O'Neal autograph. Now for those who's wondering like, hey, did you write that yourself? No, I didn't. Jermaine O'Neal wrote that. 
So if you can get somebody that maybe works for Upper Deck or something like that, maybe they can authenticate it. You know what I'm saying? I done, uh, well, I'll go into that story, you know what I'm saying, when I almost get done. But, but yeah, that's, that's his autograph. So these shoes probably worth maybe, maybe about two million. Maybe, maybe, you know, you know how y'all overhype shoes now. You want, like, way more than what it's worth. But these are probably worth about two million. Something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like half of his contract. So, you know what I'm saying? He, he signed, like, a multi-million deal contract. So, these got to be worth, like, at least 20% of it. But, uh, let's, let's get into it. Let's, listen. Is that what y'all say? Let's get into it? Let's get into it. Okay. Now, I don't know all the terms of everything, so I'm going to just give my own, just makeup names or whatever. So, what you have here is you have this this part right here that's coming down. It's kind of like a little, uh, a suede leather. Let's call it suede leather. You know, you got all, you got leather on the, on the front right here. You got, I don't know what this is, but it's like... You know what I'm saying? Probably like plastic wrap over the leather. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tell me what the name of this is. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what it is. But you have leather back here with the swoosh sign. It's outlined in blue. And then there's yellow on the inside of it. I guess varsity. You have the number seven, which is stitched in so well by whoever did this. She stitched it in so well. Did an amazing job. Then you have the, the shocks down here, which are, which are yellow. And then you have the little rubber band going around it and uh let's say midnight navy or whatever they call it uh you got your mesh i, I do know that's like mesh or something so we're gonna go with mesh on that you know you got a couple of wrinkles up here because like i said i did wear them but i can get those out uh just put you know what i'm saying you can put some socks in there something like that that uh just keep them in there for probably about 30 days never know the difference but uh, on, the, on the other side also you have this that we don't know the name of or what it's made out of but you have that again with leather still going around you still got this right here whatever it is and then but you have and this lady did a very nice job she put J.O. on the other side she didn't just stop with number seven she put J.O. on the other side and stitched in so well but uh let's see let's go to the back the back you have your your, your flight sign the flight sign that was on, like, Nike is equipped with, I guess this is the little flight sign. Uh, the inside, I mean, you know what I'm saying, it says Nike shocks in there. It has a nice little cushion on the outside. Uh, this, like, the tongue is maybe like a little suede -ish, a little suede a little Patrick suede <laughs> Patrick suede But, uh, I mean, overall, like I said, these, these, I've, I've, I've jumped in them. I've kind of hooped in them, you know what I'm saying, I scored probably like 68 points, probably 68, you know what I'm saying, and these shoes, these are, these are wonderful, I mean, they feel good, you got good cushioning on them, I mean, you don't have to worry about twisting your ankle or anything, I mean, I shouldn't have to worry about twisting my ankle if I paid whatever I paid for these, it was over 100 bucks, so I shouldn't have to worry about twisting my ankle at all, but yeah, these shoes right here, these, these are some nice little shoes. These are some nice little shoes. I'm sorry I couldn't, you know what I'm saying, do the extensive review. You know what I'm saying? Probably like Sneak Geeks. You know how Sneak Geeks always, he smells the shoe before uh, he gives you the review. We ain't going to be smelling no shoes over here. You know what I'm saying? Sneak, I mean, Sneak Geeks is cool. Don't get me wrong. But have you ever thought about it? if you sent Sneak Geeks a pair of shoes and one of the shoes like smell bad, like somebody pooed it or something and he smelled them? I mean, all the shoes that he smells, smells exactly the same. They should. But what if somebody, like, farted in one of them? And then he smells them like, ugh. Would that make him change his mind about it? I should do that one day. Shout out to Sneak Geeks. But, uh, yeah. These are Jermaine O'Neal's. Signed by Jermaine O'Neal's. Now, we got a, you know what I'm saying? We got a pretty extensive shoe collection. Not the best, but not the worst. But, uh... We uh, got a couple of little autographed shoes and everything like that. Like I said, these right here, these are some nice shoes, you know what I'm saying, the hoop in. Like I, I sell them. If, if you watch this video, mention my name and give me a call. I'll sell them to you for a cool million. Take a million off. You ain't never heard nobody take a million off. I'll take a million off. So, yeah, 
Jermaine O'Neal first first exclusive review. I don't think nobody's ever did a review on these. As a matter of fact, I don't think nobody has these like this. I'm pretty sure this is one of one. Jermaine O'Neal doesn't even have this. He could, but he he he, he doesn't. But yeah, this is a. Uh, I wonder if I should read out the color code and everything. But if, if you want these Jermaine O'Neals, give me a cool million. I, matter of fact, I'll just take five hundred thousand off just because you watch this video. Give me five hundred thousand. You can get these. 500000 comes with the box. And just make sure there ain't nothing else in there. There ain't you no know, you know, pictures or nothing like that. You know, how, you know how we put pictures and stuff so our girlfriend won't see it in, in shoe boxes. Or nothing. There ain't nothing in the original paper. So, like I said, hit me up. Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Let me know if you want these or if this was a good review. And also, uh, like I said, follow my uh, YouTube page. Subscribe. Rate, comment. We got more videos, not just shoes. You know what I'm saying? Videos about funny videos, not so funny videos. You know what I'm saying? Just all kind of little stuff. So pay attention to the YouTube page. We'll come out with a video, Eric, probably three years, three or four years to try to keep it, keep it, uh, keep it, uh, keep it going. Also, uh, might be doing shoe reviews. If you haven't checked out ballersblock.net, new basketball site. Talking about new new players coming out, high school, college, everything. Gives you info about all that. So check that site out, ballersblock.net, as in E-N-E-T. All right, until next time, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we will be reporting somewhere at a different location the next time. And I don't know what shoes we're going to do, but we'll find something. We'll find something. Yes, we will. Hit me and let me know something.